hey you down here oh okay so that comes in as an instant you start recording i finally sat here and watched that well i thought it was done and then i realized what a silly idea i just had all that whole hooking up the cable from the uh, earphone output to the uh, input on the v amp well if i'm not getting anything out of the speakers i'm not getting anything out of the headphone am i <coughs> i actually went then i said okay i'm gonna go plug it in well actually i went and looked at the back of the machine and it doesn't have a separate line out and speaker out like it looks like in the software it only has a green uh, line speaker out a pink mic in and a uh, what's the other one there's oh line in that's blue line in is blue that's what's coming from my vamp back into the computer that i'm recording with pink line in and then one output and that's the green speaker line out both whatever i uh, used to computers had a line out that was a line level signal and a speaker level that was amplified a little bit you know like five watts or i don't even know if it's that much um, i don't know how much it was anywhere from two watts to 15 watts you know i, I don't know but uh, yeah, I've got a couple of gateways out in the garage, 350 megahertz Pentium 1 and a 500 megahertz. And those things can drive speakers that aren't, aren't uh, self-powered, you know. Little ones, you know, little computer speakers. So um, most of the newer, I, I haven't seen anything much, in, in, just a little bit around past, you know, newer than that. And it doesn't have that anymore at all. Speakers have to be powered. Yeah, like those little computer speakers, a lot of them, they call them powered speakers. They have a built-in little amplifier. And uh, and like me, you know, I'm using uh, real amplifiers. I mean, well, they are real. Two car amps and a jam box. That's a 50-watt jam box going to each of their... i got three, two, three sets of speakers in here. And I've said that before. My car amps are being powered by uh, computer power supplies. So I um, call it my power supply amp because I also have some of the Molex connectors where I can just stick them out there and plug them into a hard drive or whatever if I needed to to power it because I had an adapt hard drive adapter and, and its power supply died so I needed something to power the hard drives when I used it and uh, so anyway uh, it dawned on me I know I had to have tried this but uh, listening back to my video I was like well what what about speaker did i try speaker i know i did but i didn't see it in my video so um to see if it would uh you know send an output since how i found figured out that even you know with jack running i can change the this here all these other things and get my voice to go out my speakers uh I'll, yeah i'll need to turn on the loop back okay now line this one here check one two there we go now a while ago when i did that check check it wouldn't uh i don't actually need the line i don't believe but uh when that auto mute was uh oh when it was on it that didn't work i don't think let's do it auto mute line out and speakers check one two check check one two check 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 i wonder if it kind of doesn't doesn't stop it but fights it you know trying to decide what to do check check hello check 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 nah, i don't think so <clears throat> okay so if i play music just start with that song yeah the, the music was completely silent you know there wasn't anything coming out there um so i thought okay let's try enabling that speaker and see if it brings anything out now this is just trying to bring the sound out of my application you know and that doesn't do anything okay um of course headphone wouldn't do it don't have any well you know a while ago i wonder if i didn't i find find out that i could enable where's my i didn't check i wonder if, as long as i can hear myself then i'll know i'm working there now i'm wondering if my cable will work again because i didn't did i bring up that headphones slider I don't remember. I am way too tired to be fiddling with this, aren't I?
I don't know what I've been doing. But now I'm sitting there thinking, okay, so maybe if I brought up the headphone slider with that plugged in, I've pl hooked and unhooked this three or four times. I'm getting tired of doing it. Um, it is still plugged into the V amp and laying on the desk, and I can reach it around here and do it. So I'll just do it. I'm just going to plug it into the headphone again because I want to. Okay, I got to get where I can see it. Oh, I'm getting hung up on other cables. Oh, it brought it up automatically, didn't it? How about that? When I plugged it in, it brought it up all the way. So that, and activated it. Mm -hmm. See, that, that stuff's kind of cool. I mean, used to, you had to uh, wiggle the wire and I heard something. But that does not mean that I'm going to have sound coming out of my, um, you know, my PCM sound. That's That's not coming out. And there's no, just a level, and that's all. Speaker wouldn't do anything. Okay, I didn't think it would. Front mic. Line out's already all the way up, and I've got that left there so I can hear that I'm not losing myself when I do all this. Move this over to the left workspace so I can quickly look here. Yeah, I'm still doing good there. So I don't know how many times I've done the same thing here. That doesn't do it. That made something odd happen. There was some kind of thing with, you know, letters and numbers in it that I used to turn on on another machine that would make some of this stuff. It would enable more features and you could do more stuff. It was a whole different mixer. So... Yeah, so that means nothing. Yeah, oh, yeah, I guess I better... I've got that. I figured out where the middle was, but there's no markings on the VM. And that doesn't change anything. So, yeah, I was doing it wrong. I did two and a half. I should have done one and a half of roll turns to get in the center. So, um, you don't really need the uh, playback on the line, but you want the line enabled, but you don't need the playback. Let's see. Check, check, yeah. So, loopbacking, that is, I would swear, was what I need turned on. Definitely works with the mic, but. <clears throat> so, it's not. An ALSA thing then, and it doesn't help. So I was kind of a silly way to do it anyway. But yeah, plugging it in to the um, there you go, it just jumps right back down all by itself. So let me put this up out of my up in my way there. I always want cables rolled up, but I'm in the middle of doing other things, aren't I? Okay, so, uh, but I am going to want an input cable on that for other things, I think. Um, I know, I don't remember, I thought of something the other day that I would might want to do that with, but, I mean, it's really quite silly to have to do it in a weird way like that anyway, because um, I'll leave loop back enabled, that disabled, and I'm going to go over here to jack one more time. But there's nothing else to do here, see. Uh, system playback. I mean, you want two things. You want to hear it while Jack's on. And uh, so, yeah, let me bring this up a little so I can hear if anything changes. Okay, now I can tell if anything changes, like the music starts. Well, of course, the music has to be playing. I'm going to open more songs. I say open all with VLC, and now they'll all play. Only a lot of times it starts at the last one when you do that, but if you like order it, you know, an ABC order, and then there's two identical songs in there for some reason. 
Okay. Um, so now if I make a change that goes through my, uh, I think, well, the same channel that my mic's on, the same virtual digital channel that my mic's on, then I should hear it with this, being able to hear my mic, I think. So now let's see if there's anything I can, over here I couldn't change anything in that. It just wouldn't let me. And I've already patched these in before. Okay, you said one to one. Well, that'll do the same thing. Actually, let's go turn that off and do it that way. I'll see if that gets brought up, but I don't want it to get real loud. So, um, connect. Okay, now I need to turn my overall volume down there. Check, check. Okay, so that, yeah, that gives you non independent. Okay. Oh, I still think I want them connected. Okay. I think that's more likely to do what I want. Now, the ALSA mini, uh, that. I didn't try connecting them. It'd be something if it did it. So that's connected but doesn't do anything. There's nothing in there to connect. But uh, I really haven't learned about much at all about MIDI, so it gets confusing to me. But uh, MIDI playthrough. That's in there to add or select. <clears throat> now, the only thing I was actually able to add, I would want output input. So what I'd want is an output. And there's nothing that you can do here. MIDI, let's see, nothing there, but if you go to ALSA and you get that, and then if you click on, actually, sometimes it does something, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, when you do that, then it drops something in there. And if you say add, it does that. And then you could say uh, MIDI playthrough, okay. Okay, port O. So you see that added what I just did up in there, down here. Connect. Okay, now it's connected over here, but I'm not hearing any differences. What if I bring that up? I wonder. Yeah, I don't hear anything other than a little background noise. So it connected the MIDI playthrough over to the input, but I'm not using a MIDI app <coughs> or anything. Now, and MIDI is, uh, you know, it has instruments, but it's um, the, what they call MIDI instruments, but uh, it's more of a control interface. It, the way uh, somebody that used it a lot as a keyboard player way back in the early '90s explained the whole thing to me. I still kind of remember it fairly well. Uh, MIDI is not an audio, you know, inter uh, file or interface or anything. It is a control interface that can control your MIDI controllable musical instruments or like my VAMP or anything like that. Um, so like when you play a MIDI instrument on a computer, now of course that's the thing now, uh, it's just controlling the hardware in order to make those sounds. It's not that you're playing a, you may open up a MIDI file because you saved settings, just like the settings I saved here. You know, my um, says with MIDI, but that's because I thought I had added MIDI. Well, I have, see that MIDI playthrough right there? I had added that to it. And, <clears throat> and see the other ones are, whoops, cancel. See, there's another one. Well, they both have MIDI, so uh, anyway, I think I did another one that didn't have MIDI and it didn't work the way I wanted to, so I might have just deleted it or something. I don't know. But, uh, well, then again, yeah, see, I only have the same with MIDI 1 and with MIDI 1. It's all I have in that folder. So, um, it'll let you add something there, but that's the only thing available to add. And so I added, I don't know why. I just did that because I was thinking I want to add it. I want to, I can't, can I? Yeah, see, so you can't select any of those to do any connecting or anything. 
If I go on this side and say add, then you still can't add. Well, there's actually, oh, record my desktop. That's in there now. System, record my desktop. I want system. Have I got it figured out all of a sudden? Playback one. Okay, now there's still not a, you know, connect button there. So you connect, you click on the main part, not the individual stuff. I see that now. Sometimes when you do something like that, you hit a, you get a like a ditch short. You know, you you get uh, input to output connections, and you get uh, get real bad feedback. But see, that won't let you do anything with it. Okay, let's try adding this other one. I saw that I could do record my desktop. Add. Oh, system. Huh. What happens when you do that? Forward system. Record my desktop. Oh, I'm doing stuff now, but I don't know what I'm doing. Still can't connect. Okay. I see. Okay, yeah, like that. But you still can't connect. Maybe it's protecting me from doing something really dumb. But um, record my desktop input one. The thing is, I don't really need that again because it's already. I guess that would be if you save this, it would be uh, always ready to go. I guess. Well, not unless the app was running, but. Uh, System playback. See, that's what I want. Is system playback to connect to record my desktop. That's what I want. Yeah. Oh, okay. System capture. And you can't do anything down there now. Okay. Now you can connect that one. System capture to what I want the whole thing or just I would think I'm gonna hit connect. Okay, go straight to record my desktop. Now can you actually no now you you can't connect it up there now. Let's see now what if I disconnect that one? Can I connect it up here? Oh you can't. But I can connect it to record my desktop. Okay. Now I don't. I'm have it faintly to where I can hear it in the background because I still have these connected. I did. Did I alter everything? Oh, I'm in a different window. Yeah. So um, yeah, I can. If I turn it up a little more, I can hear it better. But I can just. I can tell I got something going on there. Check. Hello. Check. Hey, check. Now I'm playing, but I'm playing music this whole time, so I'm just letting it roll through that whole album of mine. And so, if I made any changes that would make that playthrough, then I should hear it, but I don't. Well, now at least I figured out how to add a few things. But system capture to record my desktop. But I still don't hear my music players and stuff. And sometimes, you know, when sometimes you an app won't play through like that until you stop. You, know, you can stop it and start it again. But I guess I'll try that. But and sometimes the web browser will play through and something like this, and the VLC won't, or the other way around. Uh, I know I have done this before, and I can't believe I can't remember how to do it. That looks like, okay, see, system playback is connected down here to record my desktop now. It's got a little... And then system capture, which is how I'm recording, is connected to record my desktop. So that would make me think I would be recording that music. Uh, and since, well, I'm listening to the mic, though, aren't I? Headphone speaker. I'm wondering if I could patch in something else and be able to hear it. I don't think I've done that a thousand times over. Speaker. 
Yeah, see, that doesn't do anything. And, of course, headphones wouldn't. You can always just do it just to see, but... <coughs> and they're actually, these are two independent controls. That one can bring it up, make it feedback. Or now, if I turn up the volume, see the way I have it patched in up here, capture to playback, then all I have to do is turn up the volume, and it does that, which is not really what you'd want. The other way would be better. That way you can sit how loud you want your your mic and still turn your volume up and down on your music and stuff. But uh, I started to say, I'm trying. Oh, I'll save this as another, another one. Yeah. Just save it as number two. Okay, so now I'll have that one to fiddle with. But it's not uh, doing what I thought I wanted it to do, so. Okay. Check. Oh, well, I don't have that very loud, do I? I would think you'd hear it, but. Let's disconnect, disconnect that one and that one. Oops, let's see. Yeah, disconnect those. Now I don't have all that. Now I can turn it up. I don't hear it. So um, now I could turn this up though and listen. Check one, two, check, check. Okay, now I can hear myself without uh, check three. Okay, I can hear myself and I can turn the music up and down all I want. So that'd be the way to handle that if you're going to do that. But that right there would be plenty loud, you know, if it was recording that. But I don't, I'm pretty sure it's not, or I think I would hear it. <coughs> So, and there's that running again. That screencast, I'm always forgetting. I mean, that screen capture. Mm -hmm. So, um, I guess I need to quit. Well, the last time I was trying to do this, I keep wanting to grab the volume up to turn that down, but I have to go over here. The last time I was trying to do this, um, you know, I kind of got, I was tired and I thought I better quit. And then I couldn't remember. I tried a couple more times and I couldn't get anywhere. This time I actually got somewhere. But when you do it when you're tired, you don't really have a clue of how you did it last time. So, um, V, I don't know what VMPK even stands for, but of course those were all in there. Uh, and I, I believe that's, yeah, that's all the stuff I put in there, but. But they were just in there. They weren't showing connections now. They are. Well, it shows... Actually, it showed that one connection. So I believe they were all connected. Uh, it's what, what it was doing. But now I have this MIDI playthrough, which is nothing. I mean, from what I'm doing... Like I was just trying to explain about how MIDI actually works. That's not really doing anything. Uh, but this uh, system capture... Now, that's a different ma matter... It and it looks like there's an error on that. It looks saying it's going this way, like in a, a certain direction. So playback to input record my desktop and system capture to input record my desktop. So you know I could have been recording that and I just can't hear it, but I doubt it. So I'll leave it like that. And um, at least I didn't break my recording or anything. So I'm just going to stop this, and I'll quit, and uh, bring that down so that it won't be making noise next time, and, and take that out too, so that it won't be making, I don't think I really want that to be like that, you know. Well, that is irritating, hearing, hearing yourself even telltale in the background. When you close this one, it stays running in the background until you reboot. It actually seems like one I might want running all the time, but this one's the one that... I don't know if I put that in there or if it already was like that, but... Uh, 
mean, it takes care of your playing needs and recording with ALSA, but if you want to do any more than that, then you need those extra s controls. So, there we go again. Another another try, but not but try and fail, I guess I'd have to say, of trying to get done what I want to done with my recording audio. It's really a lot simpler with a huge mixing panel, i tell you. They, people always say how complicated they are. They're nothing. They, they make sense. This all stuff is just crazy. All these hidden menus and everything all over the place. Different apps to use. And, and I love this computer stuff. I do it all day, every day, ever since uh, 1998. So, anyway, it's done, and I'm gonna quit for now. And uh, quit tonight. Get some food. Go to bed. All that stuff. All right. Bye bye.